morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV at Frederick. My name is Callie Say and I'm here at Trans West and Horse Trailer Sales. So for those of you that are familiar with us, you know that we are Cimarron and Logan dealers, but we do take in a large variety of used trailers and on trade, or like this one behind me, it was actually a buy bid. So when our used trailers come in to our location, they get run through our shop, they get sent to the acid wash, we make sure the tires are within five years, all matching and with good wear and tear. And this, this is no different than, it, and, than the rest of them. So a technician was paid to go through, find anything that was wrong with it. Uh, all the safety items have absolutely been addressed. It was put on the alignment machine. And this is a really nice, solid, older trailer. So this one behind me is actually a 2003 Sooner three horse. And it's a set up a little differently than you'd see on a lot of trailers. And what it's gonna allow you to do is get a lot of airflow moving through that. You get a nice big ramp on the rear, lots of storage either on top in the hay rack or in the tack room. And for those of you that need just a little bit more headroom, this is a 7.6 tall trailer. So let's go ahead and take a tour. You guys can see what you think. All right, so the first thing you'll notice on this one, it is a single leg jack. This trailer's not that heavy at right around 18 feet on the floor. It's only about 4,400 pounds empty. Nice solid aluminum trailer. These older aluminum trailers are really highly sought after. As you can see the additional height here, you've got quite a bit of headroom on this trailer. You're just a standard 6.9 wide on this trailer. So we don't have the extra width on this one. In your tack room, you can see that this trailer was definitely used. The aluminum where things rubbed against it, you'll see it'll leave those black marks. If you wanted to, you go in and, and line this again if you wanted to cover up some of those black marks. But honestly, chances are you're going to be throwing your bits up there and they're going to be swinging back and forth as well. Up here in the nose, everything's carpeted. The carpet is in really great shape. I'm not sure if it was ever redone since 2003, but if it wasn't, it was just shows how well this trailer was taken care of. We've got a clothes rod up in the nose there, lights all around, and then a nice little, little um, camper vent that you can crank up for some additional airflow if you're hanging out in here. Brush box on the wall as well as bridle hooks that you can kind of move around and make them exactly where you want them to lay. An additional holder for a saddle rack. You see we've got it in the back right now, but you can move it, collapse that rear tack and move that saddle rack to this location here if you wanted. And then you guys are probably wondering what these little gates are here. This trailer has a rear ramp with wraparound Dutch doors. If you wanted to, if you had a horse, was maybe loose, more like a box stall setup. You can put these grates in on, over the Dutch doors, so you still get the benefit of a lot of airflow, but it's a lot safer for traveling down the road. And then right here, you do have a little access for if you wanted to put a water tank or something right here, that's obviously what they had plumbed in at one point. So it's just an easy fill from the outside. You don't have to drag a hose through here. And this one's just a little short of mats. If you wanted an additional mat, we've got some takeoffs in the back that we could send you home with. But it makes it really easy to clean out. All right, on this first stall here, you do have an escape door. And one of the things I was just commenting on is as a two 2003, everything is working remarkably well on this. All the doors swing really nicely. The ramp and the Dutch doors go up and down quite easily. It's just been really well taken care of. On this first stall, you do have an escape door with a chest bar in front of it. If you wanted, you could add, add a hanging um, over under divider on this to make it more of a stud divider on the first stall. That would either give you additional storage areas if you're just hauling two, or if you've got somebody that maybe is a little grumpier, we'll keep them nice and separated there. Drop down windows, 
on the head sides on these two stalls here. And then nice, solid, heavy duty tires on this one. The previous customer put some new tires on it, good running gear, their date code of 15 of 2020. So that's the 15th week of 2020. And they're those Heartland 14 ply tires. He didn't mess around with, with tires. He wanted really good solid tires underneath this trailer. The aluminum simulators over the steel wheels gives it just kind of a nice dressed up appearance. And then something you don't see on a lot of used trailers is this fender is in remarkably good shape. A lot of them that we see over, over time have lots of dents in them. Um, but like I said, this trailer was really well taken care of. So you'll see that is reflected there. So we work our way around back here. You'll see that rear ramp with wraparound Dutch door setup that I was talking about earlier. And this one's a little different. You actually have the ability to have a folding rear tack here if you need extra, extra storage. How they were using it as just kind of a, a bigger last stall on this one. And then they had this collapsed. You can also take the rear tack completely out if you want to. That's always an option. Three tier saddle rack on this and everything's got lights everywhere, so you'll be able to see what, you, what you're doing if you're loading in and out at night. In the actual stall area, these stalls are 38 inches wide. So you've got a little more room than most of your standard trailers. This is spring-loaded here, so you don't have to worry if you're backing a horse out about this coming towards you. It's gonna stay nice and flat back against there. And once again, works remarkably well. So everything swings nice and easy. You don't have issues with lining up your dividers. And that is something that we do take care of during the PDI. If the dividers don't line up and move seamlessly, that is something they go in and adjust. This lower mat has been replaced on the kick wall here. So it's nice and clean and, and ready to use. And then you've got rubber mats here over an aluminum floor that can easily be removed to clean it out at least twice a season. This roof you will notice is lined on the inside. So if you've got any hail or live in hail country, you're not gonna see it on this side. You've got roof vents over each stall. So you get a lot of nice ventilation moving through here. And then you've got pretty decent sized bus windows on the hip side, and that's gonna allow you to get a lot of air moving through that way as well. If you've got this rear tack out and engaged, you've got a butt bar here, so that if you've got a horse in this last stall, they're not just gonna come flying back out at you. And then as we work our way around the side here, you'll see those Dutch doors. If you wanna leave them open while you drive, they latch securely back against the sides of the trailer. Nice and flush. And then I mentioned that we've got a hay rack here. It goes right up the side of the trailer there. Gives you a lot of extra room for storage. They've got a little toolbox up there, but a lot of people will throw their carts and hay and everything up there. So that's a really great feature. I know a lot of people that are looking for used trailers, sometimes the ones we get in, they always ask about us adding a hay rack to this one. This one's already equipped that way. If you see one of our used trailers here that you really like, but it doesn't necessarily have a hay rack, that's something that we put on all the time and it's really easy for us to, to add on. I mentioned earlier that there's an extra little exterior spigot for if you wanted to do a water tank on that other side. It's nice and enclosed, so if you never use it, you're not gonna have to worry about it, but it is a nice little option there. So I know you guys don't see a lot of trailers that are this age in this great of shape, so I'm sure you're gonna wanna check it out on our website. Once again, it is a 2003 Sooner three horse gooseneck. If you're looking on this website, the stock number is 5U220342. This one has been run through our shop. It is ready to roll. It's been on the alignment machine, those, 
those got it's got really great tires underneath it so I'm sure somebody's gonna scoop it up in no time if you want to give me a call my name is Callie say my phone number is 970-309-6368 you can call or text at that number I'd love to answer any questions you have on this one or any of their of our trailers that we have here on the lot or on order really appreciate you guys taking the time to tune in with us today have a great day